Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how to make hard mode easy. Now, before the video starts, I do want to say that we have a giveaway right now. If you want to know on how to enter the giveaway, make sure you check out my giveaway video. There will be a little annotation on screen right now. Top. And uh, so, there, yeah, let's get to the video. So, now, how to make hard mode easy is really simple. Now, if you've been playing Warframe for quite a long time and you do a lot of endurance runs, then this is just kind of just simple anyway it's not really anything hard it's just kind of easy to be honest so what i like to do is for the majority of the missions i use like revenant and someone tanky like that or even or even rhino now for defense missions i would use uh, limbo now limbo is really good because of his capitalism and the uh, one that can make them just basically stuck is really good to use now with the weapons as well, I want to talk about the weapons because the weapons are really important. Now, I mainly just use melee. I would rather use a melee or a secondary. Now, the secondary that I used was the pox. Now, the reason why is because if you have the, say for example, you have Crocev on it for Grenier, then that helps out a ton because if you've got a bunch of enemies together, if you just pox them all and then start using your melee, it helps out a ton and you can just kill them really quick. So that's what I recommend doing. I recommend having the right status for the... Uh, right enemy type for so for example personally i like to use gas on uh infested now you could use viral but i just prefer using gas because it, it just kills them quicker because obviously it makes like a gas cloud and all that so yeah so now the next the uh, warframe that i like to use was ash now ash i either use ash for just missions in general or i just use them for rescue and all that now the reason why I use either Revenant or Ash because one, Revenant is really hard to kill so that is a really good thing so I'll use that for like sabotage or capture something like that what's just like a really quick mission to do if, and then if it's like a rescue or a spy I'll use Ash. Now the reason why I use Ash is because it's seeking shuriken and if you have the secret shuriken argument and you have the right build for him then that just makes life so much more easier. So now next one, I did talk about weapons earlier but make sure you do have the right status now i do want to say this i did say this literally earlier make sure you do have the right status so say for example you was using gas on uh grenier then that's just going to make your life 10 times harder because you're not going to be stripping their armor with corrosive so make sure you do have the right status now in like easy mode you could say you didn't have to worry about this now i didn't really worry about this because my damage was perfectly fine anyway but make sure you do have the right status as because when I did do like my first three levels on Earth, I didn't use like the right status and it made it, it was so much harder. But as soon as you got the right status on everything, you're fine. It's it's a lot more easier. Now, for survival, I do recommend using Nidus as you see here. Now, what I do recommend instead of just using his first to kill him, like what I used to do, what I do now in this video is you see me just grab all of it and then use my melee to actually kill him. But I'll use my first to make sure I'm at 100 stacks because obviously I, w I will die sometimes. But I've got making sure I am on that 100 stacks so I don't like actually actually. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It would be very much appreciated and it will show me the support that you guys give. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.